racism is made from, it comes from nurture, like are you raised to be racist, or were you just born to be racist? I believe racism is something that you are, it's taught, it's a learned behavior. I don't think anybody is just automatically born to be racist. Um, an example that I give, I can give many examples, but one of the most, the example that stands out the most is when Deja was a little girl. We were in the mall. We were actually in our purpose house. She had to be about three or four at the time. And um, she was always a friendly little girl. She would be like, hi, hi, say hi to everybody. We ran across this lady with her daughter. They were Caucasian. And um, the little girl wanted to, you know, play with Deja, uh, even say hi. And the mother gave her this look. And, you know, and I, and... So the, the mother was basically prohibiting her from speaking back. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I looked at it, I'm like, really? Really? They're kids. How do you, how do you start something that early? It's something so innocent as a child speaking to another child. And you would not allow that to happen. I was furious. You know, I was really pissed off. So I, I can recall another time when... I was about you all's age, and my, I never forget my parents let me catch the bus to the brickyard. But I took the Roosevelt bus. Um, the Roosevelt bus used to go half, um, not quite to Austin, so it would it would you know go into a little bus thing, and then I would walk down and catch the Austin bus all the way to the brickyard. And this little girl fell, and when I reached down to help her up, she go no 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 no. And I touched her briefly, and she was, you know, like, as if she was trying to turn black. <laughs> and I'm saying to myself, I should just let your ass fall. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, those, those are different things where, once again, her, somebody had to tell her that. That's not something that you're going to know automatically. And the incident with this little girl, how her mother prevented her from just saying hi. When kids are at a playground, kids are going to play with kids. It's, who, it's whomever that adult is that is going to prevent that from happening. And the kid is going to be inquisitive and say, well, why, 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 why? So, no, I mean, I could give, like I say, um, many, many examples that I've experienced, you know, uh, in my life. But, yeah, I, it is definitely something that is taught to you. It's not something you Percent isn't born to be racism. Or, no, yeah, a person isn't born to be racist. It's just like, for example... When a kid, you see a lot of kids in like mental stages or like something is really wrong. Someone had to physically do something to them or mentally do something to them in order for them to be the way that they are now. Quote unquote. Um, we have... Sources, www.quora.com. Are humans born to be racist or do we acquire racism? Desmond Hardy said, we aren't born racist, but we do have some innate biases that lead us along the path. Basically, what he's saying is that, what I was saying, like, you can't be born racist or you can't have racism and you someone has to teach you you know what dark and light or what's black and white or what's this or that it's just all talk to you we had a quote from quotefield.com I know some Mandela he said, no one is born hating another person because of the skin color. No, because the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they learn, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally than to the human heart than its opposite. So I believe that racism is something that you are taught. So which makes it nurture instead of nature. Because you're not born to be racist. Um, one of my evidence was said by Roger Herbert. 
and it says parents and schools should place great emphasis on the idea that it is all right to be different. Racism and all other isms grow from primitive tribalism, the instinctive hostility against those of another tribe, race, religion, nationality, class, or whatever. You are luck you are a lucky child if your parents taught you to accept diversity. So basically what he's saying in this quote is that be grateful that your parents wanted you to be to accept differences from other people. Now this quote pro this quote pro proves that <laughs> this quote proves that um, racism is nurtured and not nature because racism is something that's taught and like you said it is a primitive it, it grows from primitive tribalism which is basically what that means is that it's something that your ancestors passed down to figure out who was part of their tribe and who's a part of their people and that this quote also says that you should accept people's differences and not be so closed-minded towards what they have to offer you. Um, my next quote comes from Malcolm X. It says, the American Negro can never be blamed for his racial animosity. He is only reacting to 400 years of concise racism from the American white. So he said, don't blame us for how we feel about race because we received nothing but bad things from them and we were taught these we repeatedly taught these bad things that you that whites showed to African Americans and that that stuff still exists exists today and that the key word here in this quote is reacting to 400 years so it is a reaction to what we have been shown and this is why I believe that racism is nurture and not nature nurture because a person can be born to be racist someone has to teach them those things and someone has to say something to them in order for that person or that child to believe a certain way. Um, I have a quote from www.ibtimes.co.uk. Malcolm X said that I'm not racist. I'm against every form of racism and segregation, every form of discrimination. I believe in human beings and that all human beings should be respected as such, regardless of their color. This quote is basically saying, he is not racist, and he doesn't believe in segregation or racism or discrimination. He wants his world and his people to be together. But you have the whites, you have the blacks, you have the Hispanics, and you have every other race that are going against each other and we just can't come together and have justice. There's some inequality and there's some segregation. That's why it's racism. Something to end this video or this presentation, something that you could take away from what we just talked about in our videos. It says, race is a great taboo in our society. We are afraid to talk about it. White folks fear their unspoken views will be deemed racist. People of color are filled with sorrow and rage of unright wrongs. Drowning in silence, we are brothers. We are the brothers and sisters drowning each other. Once we decide to transform ourselves from fearful caterpillars into courageous butterflies, we will be able to bridge the race of gold and move forward together towards a bright and colorful future. This quote was by Eva Patterson, CEO and co-founder of Equal 
Justice Society, an organization dedicated to changing the law through progressive legal theory, theory public policy, and practice. That's it.